What's your name? Green! I got 100 on my dash, got 200 in my trunk. They ain't in the grab bags for my trunk. Like a cracker on the top of my butt, like a dumb trunk. Let's go for question number three. Good day, good day, everybody. And once again, we're back together. We're looking at the Eastern Cape November 2023 exam for grade 11. So please, if you haven't subscribed, just make sure you're part of the family. We've already covered question number one and two. Please, you can go and view those. And now we are getting into number patterns, which is question number three. So they say to us, given the linear pattern, 17 we've got 14 we've got 11 and so it goes up until the number negative 247 they say write down the fourth and the fifth term of the number pattern so firstly because it's a linear pattern we know that it is uh, defined or characterized by the common difference so this is our term one this is term two as well as term three Right, so we know to get the common difference, we'll say term 2 minus term 1. So that will be 14 minus 17. That should give us negative 3, right? But similarly, if I take 11 minus 14, which is term 3 minus term 2, we still get negative 3, which means negative 3 is the common difference. So meaning to get the fourth term, I'll say 11. Uh, I'll say 11 minus 3 okay so that should give us 8 okay and again uh, I'll say 8 minus 3 that should give us 5 okay so the fourth and the fifth term so t4 is 8 and t5 is 5 all right, now let's continue. Let's continue. They say to us, determine the general term Tn of the number pattern. So please keep in mind, for us to get the general term, so Tn is A plus N minus 1 times D, right? So Tn, our A value, our first term of the sequence is 17. So that's going to be 17 plus we've got n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference and we said our common difference is negative 3 so that's multiplied by negative 3 right so we're going to say this is 17 now negative 3 times n gives us minus 3n and negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 gives us positive 3 so which means the general term of the sequence will be 20, that's 17 plus 3, gives us 20, minus 3n. So that's how we write down the general term of our sequence. Now they say we, we need to find out, calculate the value of t17. So we know that t17 is simply going to be, which means we're substituting a, a 17 for n. So that's going to be 20 minus 3 multiplied by 17 okay and what do we get there that's 20 minus 3 times 17 uh, i get negative 31 okay so which means term 17 is negative 31 all right they say the next one determine the number uh, of terms in the number pattern so we have found out that the last term of our sequence was negative 247. So which term number is it, right? So Tn, we know this is 20 minus 3n is equal to negative 247, right? So I've got minus 3n. If I take the 20 to the other side, it becomes negative. So this will be minus... 267 all right uh, so that's minus 3n equal to minus 267 that is 247 mi minus 247 minus 20 okay and we can divide both sides by negative 3 
all right so let's find that out that's two six seven divided by three and i am getting 289 terms so which means the number of terms would be equal to 89. all right and finally for 3.2 they are now telling us and i hope that you are able to follow uh, despite the fact that uh, I'm writing this onto the actual page. Um, they say in a linear pattern, the first term is 2x plus 11. Okay, so that's T1, right? And the second term is 2, so that's T2. And the fourth term is 2x minus 4. So that means this is going to be our T4. Right, they say calculate the value of x. All right, so it is a number, uh, I mean, a linear pattern once again. So which means in this case, I can still use Tn is a plus n minus 1 times d. But now which term number do we have, right? We've got the first term, which is a. That's 2x plus 11, right? Now, we do not have D, but we know in order for us to work out the value of D, we can say T2 minus T1, right? So what do we get? We get 2 minus 2X plus 11. So what is our D value? That will give us 2 minus 2X minus 11. That will give us minus 2x. Remember, that's 2 minus 11. So that will give us minus 9. Okay. So that is the value of d in this case, right? Now, remember, we we're given the fourth term. So I can say in our expression, and please, if you don't mind, I'm going to write it at the bottom there. I'm going to say t4 is equal to a plus 4 minus 1 is 3 times D, okay? But we're given T4. T4 is 2x minus 4. That's 2x minus 4. A, which is T1, is 2x plus 11 plus 3 times our D value is... As we found it there, that's negative 2x minus 9. All right, now they said we should work out the value of x. So let's try and do that as quickly as possible. All right, so the 2x and the 2x cancel each other out. Okay, so on this side, I've got, I can take the negative 11 to the other side, but maybe first let's distribute that. So we've got 11 minus 6x minus uh, 9 times 3 will give us 18 okay and this is equal to negative 4 right i'm going to take the negative 4 to the other i mean negative 6x rather uh, to the other side bring the 4 to this side so i've got 6x is equal to so i've got minus 18 uh, no, 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 sorry, I said minus 18. This was supposed to be minus 27. Apologies there. Uh, 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. Okay, so that will give us, um, let's see. So minus 27 plus 11 gives us negative 16 plus 4. That gives us negative 12. And if we can divide both sides by 6, then we know our x value is equal to negative 2. And that is how the cookie crumbles. So that's how I would have done that question. And please note, ladies and gents, uh, it's a linear pattern. So that is how we're going to go about finding the linear pattern. And we are going to go on to question 4 in the next video. Please look out for it. For now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.